What are the most powerful military vehicles of the Philippine Army? What are the most dangerous machines in their arsenal? And can they survive against the strongest nations globally? Well, today we'll answer all these questions, showcasing the top 10 most powerful military vehicles of the armed forces of the Philippines. This ranking is the second part two, so if you missed the first one, I'll leave you the link here somewhere. This list includes only military land vehicles, but let me know in the comment if you want a video about the best warships and aircrafts of the Philippine Army. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated with our latest contents. And now let's dive deep into the military world with the first machine on our list. Number 10, FN and SS Kunduz. The FNSS Kunduz, also known as AZMIM, is a Turkish tracked amphibious combat engineering armored bulldozer designed for the Turkish Armed Forces. Developed by FNSS Defense Systems, this versatile machine took less than four years to move from concept to prototype, with the first unit delivered in January 2013. Its primary role is to support amphibious warfare by moving earth, clearing obstacles, cutting steep slopes, and stabilizing stream banks, making river crossings easier for combat vehicles. Equipped with two pump jets, the Kunduz can perform 360-degree turns in challenging water conditions, enhancing its maneuverability in rip currents. With a top speed of 28 miles per hour, it can travel alongside other military vehicles without needing a carrier. Number 9, M934. The M934 is a versatile five-ton, 6x6 six heavy truck used by the U.S. military. Known for its robust performance in transporting up to 10,000 pounds of cargo across all terrains and weather conditions. Originally designed in the late 1970s to replace the older M39 and M809 series, the M934 has evolved into a broad family of vehicles, including cargo trucks, dump trucks, semi-tractors, wreckers, and specialty chassis. In total, 44,590 units were produced. This truck weighs about 22,030 pounds, measures 27 feet 8 inches long, 8 feet 1 inch wide, and stands 10 feet 1 inch tall. It's powered by a Cummins 6CTA 8.3 engine, delivering 240 horsepower, paired with a 5-speed automatic transmission and beam axles on leaf springs for sturdy suspension. Number 8. WFL DSB The WFL Dry Support Bridge is a cutting-edge, rapidly deployable tactical military bridge capable of spanning a 150-foot wet or dry gap in under 90 minutes with just 8 soldiers and one launch vehicle. Recognized as the leading bridge of its kind globally, the DSB is used in both military operations and disaster relief efforts. With a robust military load classification rating of 120, the DSB is designed to handle heavy-duty military traffic, supporting operations on main supply routes, and maintaining the momentum of attacks by overcoming obstacles that surpass the capacity of assault bridges. Its operational flexibility is further enhanced by its ISO transportability, allowing it to be easily shipped and deployed worldwide. Number 7. M1074JAB. The M1074 Joint Assault Bridge System is an American armored military engineering vehicle developed for the U.S. Army and Marine Corps by Leonardo DRS. Built on the Abrams M1A1 main battle tank chassis, this vehicle provides critical deployable bridge capabilities during military operations. The JAB carries and deploys a heavy assault scissor bridge with a military load class of 115 replacing the older MLC-95 bridges. Once the bridge is deployed, assault vehicles can cross, and the JAB can retrieve the bridge from the far side, continuing in support of advancing forces. Weighing 68.7 short tons, the M1074 is equipped with a Honeywell AGT-1500C multi-fuel turbine engine that produces 1,500 horsepower, allowing it to reach speeds of up to 45 miles per hour on roads and 30 miles per hour off-road. Number 6. Cadillac Gauge Commando 
The Cadillac Gauge Commando, known in U.S. military service as the M706, is an American armored car designed for amphibious operations, particularly by the U.S. Military Police Corps during the Vietnam War. Engineered by Cadillac Gauge, it combined the roles of an armored personnel carrier and conventional armored car, similar to the Soviet BTR-40. Its notable height, amphibious capability, and waterproof engine allowed it to effectively operate in Vietnam's dense jungles and deep rivers, providing excellent observation over vegetation and the ability to ford water obstacles. The Commando series was produced in three versions, the V100, V150, and V200, each modified for various battlefield roles. It was also copied without a license in Portugal as the Bravia Camade. The vehicle has a crew of three and can carry up to nine passengers. Number 5. KLTV The Kia Light Tactical Vehicle, also known as the K151 Raycolt, is a versatile light utility vehicle developed by Kia Motors for the South Korean Armed Forces. Entering full production in 2016, it was designed to meet the specific needs of the Republic of Korea Army and began service the following year. The KLTV is intended to replace the older Kia KM420 and KM450 utility vehicles in South Korean military service, offering enhanced performance and capabilities. The KLTV is powered by a Hyundai S2 D6EB 3.0 liter V6 diesel engine producing 225 horsepower paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission. It has a top speed of 81 miles per hour and an operational range of 350 to 400 miles. The vehicle's 4x4 wheeled suspension and high ground clearance of 15.9 to 16.5 inches provide excellent mobility across various terrains. With a mass ranging from 12,600 to 15,400 pounds and a payload capacity between 2,200 and 4,400 pounds, it is adaptable for multiple configurations and roles. Number 4. Steelcraft MX-8 The Steelcraft MX-8 Armored Escort Vehicle is an experimental armored vehicle developed by Steelcraft Industrial and Development Corporation in collaboration with the Philippine Army. It was designed to meet the need for a smaller, more agile armored vehicle capable of navigating the challenging terrain of Philippine jungles, where larger armored vehicles struggle. The MX-8, standing for Military Experimental 8, is part of a series of prototypes developed by Steelcraft in the latter half of the 20th century. The Philippine Army has shown considerable interest in the project, partially funding the development and indicating plans to acquire units once it completes testing. Weighing 5.5 tons, the MX-8 measures 17.3 feet in length, 6.2 feet in width, and 5.6 feet in height, with a crew of three. It is equipped with a 7.62 mm machine gun as its primary armament and features quarter-inch rolled steel plating for armor protection. Number 3. CS-VP-3 Bigfoot The CS-VP-3 Bigfoot is a Chinese MRAP vehicle developed by Poly Technologies and manufactured by Chang'an Automobile. It was first unveiled at the China International Aviation and Aerospace Exhibition in 2012 and showcased internationally at the DSA Defense Exhibition in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia the same year. The CS-VP-3 Bigfoot is designed to provide high levels of protection against mines and ambushes, making it suitable for various military and security operations. Weighing 33,000 pounds, the Bigfoot measures 24.9 feet in length, 8.1 feet in width, and 9.5 feet in height. It accommodates a crew of two, along with up to 10 passengers. The vehicle is armed with a QJC-88 12.7mm heavy machine gun as its primary weapon and a Type 86 7.62mm general purpose machine gun as its secondary armament. Powered by a diesel engine producing 315 horsepower, the Bigfoot has a payload capacity of 7,100 pounds and a maximum speed of 57 miles per hour. Number 2. PIFV-12.7 The PIFV-12.7 is a Philippine variant of the AIFV, a U.S.-developed track light armored vehicle that evolved from the M113A1 armored personnel carrier. 
This variant was specifically modified to mount 12.7mm machine guns, enhancing its capability in infantry support roles. The PIFV-12.7 serves multiple armies worldwide due to its versatility, mobility, and improved firepower. Weighing 13.6 metric tons in combat load, the PIFV-12.7 measures 17.2 feet in length, 9.25 feet in width, and 8.6 feet in height. It has a crew of three and can carry up to seven infantry soldiers. The vehicle's hull is made of aluminum with space laminate steel applique armor on the front and sides, providing enhanced protection against small arms fire and shrapnel. The main armament is a 25mm KBAB-02 cannon with 180 rounds ready and 144 in reserve, complemented by a secondary 7.62 by 51mm NATO machine gun with 230 rounds ready and 1610 in reserve. Number 1. Atmos 2000 The autonomous truck-mounted Howitzer System 2000 is a 155mm 52 caliber self-propelled artillery system developed by Israeli manufacturer Soltam Systems. Designed for long-range, high mobility, and rapid deployment, the Atmos 2000 combines substantial firepower with the versatility of a truck-mounted platform, allowing it to operate efficiently in various terrains and quickly respond to battlefield needs. The system is mounted on a 6x6 cross-country truck chassis and features a 155mm 52 caliber ordnance conforming to NATO standards. It can achieve a maximum firing range of over 25 miles using extended range full bore, base bleed projectiles, 19 miles with NATO L15 high explosive rounds, and 15.2 miles with older M107 HE projectiles. And there you have it, folks. These were 10 of the most powerful military vehicles used by the Philippine Army. Which one impressed you the most? Write it down in the comment below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell button so you won't miss a video. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay safe and always stay curious.